Hi, you are watching Skillshin. In this video, I will compare three of the popular in India KU band satellite LNBs. So LNBs are low noise down block converters which is used to receive radio wave signal from the satellite and convert it into analog signals. These KU band satellite LNBs have signal bandwidth of 10.7 GHz to 12.75 GHz and output of 950 to 2150 MHz. I will discuss the noise figures of each LNBs later. I have this Tata Sky LNB currently installed on the satellite receiver. This is the signal strength and signal quality being received by the LNB. Tata Play, formerly called as Tata Sky, uses GSAT 10 and GSAT 30 satellites for transponding signals. These are launched by ISRO and they were the replacement for INSAT 4 satellite. The azimuth elevation and skew are same for both the satellites. I have given a reference in the description. The brands I will be comparing are Tata Play single line LNB which is already installed. It is manufactured by Sharp or Microelectronics. Mine is from Sharp. The next is Airtel Inverto LNB and the third solid LNB from Sharp Corporation. These LNB costed me around $4 each with the Inverto being the most expensive and solid being the least. This is the Tata Sky LNB installed by Tata Sky Field Executive. I bought this 8 years ago and it is now approaching its end of life and so I thought to replace it. As you can see it has 3 feed horns. I have marked the angle which is originally positioned by the executive. I will now be tinkering only with the skew angle. The LNB skew angle for my location for KU band is minus 27.40 degrees. As previously shown, this is the signal strength and quality currently with this LNB. Now I will unscrew this and install solid LNB. As mentioned here on the package, the noise of this LNB is 0.1 decibel. In simple words, the noise is the unwanted interference in the signal which disturbs the quality. Noise can be from the environmental electromagnetic waves or interference from stray signal or from the mobile signal. Now that I have removed this startup play LNB, I will install this solid LNB and adjust the skew. As I don't have the satellite signal meter, I will use a smartphone and video call it via my phone. That way I can see the TV and adjust the signal to its max strength. This is what the solid LNB is currently able to receive. The sky is clear and the weather is normal. In comparison, this LNB is better than the previous one as both the signal strength and quality has increased. Visually or acoustically, I was unable to differentiate. This was the solid LNB. I have marked the skew angle on the body of this. Now I will change it with inverto. So this LNB has noise figure of 0.6 dB. This is a custom part made by Inverto for Airtel. It's now installed and I have adjusted the skew accordingly. Again, I can see some improvements with signal strength and quality, but no visual difference as such. It might be due to the fact that I repeatedly viewed it while adjusting the skew. I asked my parents and their response was yes. It might be a fact or placebo. So like the previous one, I have marked the skew angle on the body of this LNB. Now what is the final conclusion? As I have shown the real world results of all these three LNBs, the results were positive when compared to the old Tata Sky or Tata Play LNB. It was old and I am not claiming it to be bad, but the performance might have got degraded over the time. I have used it for 8 years and the performance degradation is understandable. While conducting this test, I made sure to keep all the things as equal as possible. The skew was set to their max signal strength and quality. Although I was not having the signal strength meter, but I tried my best. There were no azimuth or elevation change. The weather was normal and the sky was clear. The RG6 connector and the copper wire were cleaned after every LNB replacement. As per result, 
Inverto perform the best, Solid perform the good, and Tata Play perform the bad, but that might be due to its age. In real world, you will hardly notice the difference between Solid and Inverto. Sure, you might notice when change from OLED and B, like in my case, the Tata Play to Solid, my parents were able to differentiate. I changed it because the previous one got really old. As far as I know, all these LNBs have their shell made of ABS plastic. All of them feature a similar weakness, that is, their feed horn cap degrades over time and breaks off. Apart from that, all these LNBs work on same voltage range and feature a good build quality. In my opinion, you might go for solid or inverto, whichever you prefer. And about those extra feed horns that solid has, it doesn't make any significant difference. Both the solid and the inverto LNB are good and you may prefer to buy any whichever is easier to procure. That's all for this video. If you have any concerns, please comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.